welcome back so in this video we are going to create that WordPress website and uh, most uh, exciting video uh, this is the first time I'm gonna play with WordPress in more than eight years the last time uh, I worked or you know installed or you know saw a WordPress uh, edit window was back in 2012 so I wanted to capture this uh, let's go uh, we are going to create an EC2 obviously so first thing first let's terminate this EC2 instance so to terminate we're gonna just select it in the action instance um, let's see Oop. oh state right there terminate we terminating it it's being terminated at this moment so we can go ahead and launch a create new instance we're gonna continue with our uh, t2 micro I'm gonna just quickly go about it VPC so that's the network and you, you can see that's uh, our main one and uh, for the security our security is going to be next uh, here yeah but uh, I'm gonna type a uh, uh, script uh, the bootstrap bootstrap scripts means uh, like it in the name uh, we ran a bootstrap uh, in, a, in a previous video uh, bootstrap means that a script that will run on the first uh, when the machine first initially boots um, so just uh, like previous we're gonna type uh, that slash pen slash bash I don't have to explain it again that what uh, it's doing yum install httpd uh, previous video uh, so let's go over here for the this one is telling it to run it at the root level this second line is installing apache but with the apache we're going to install php you know wordpress runs on php and we're going to install php mysql uh, so it can talk to our uh, the database and just uh, always like why then we are doing the amazon linux extras so this line basically install php version onto the, our uh, linux you have so linux kernel does not have everything on it you have to install some like out of the ordinary so this line is going to install the php on it and uh, for the linux uh, our ec2 instance that is for we're gonna cd into our var www.html if you remember uh, we need to go into this one so we can uh, run further commands inside this directory because this is the root this is going this folder html is going to be the root of our uh, web server or website or wordpress blog whatever so now once we are in this directory we want uh, our wordpress to be installed inside that directory so we're going to uh, use the wget and https we're going to give the wordpress dot org slash wordpress and you can go to their website find out the latest uh, um, installation link um, I'm gonna just use this one and uh, maybe there, there should be a newer one these uh, wget uh, okay next line we're gonna tell it to unzip it that is going to it's uh, wordpress 5.4.1 dot er dot gz now it's gonna unzip it then it's gonna copy it recursively to wordpress oops wordpress star into like a star means the it's a wildcard so whatever is in that wordpress directory is going to copy it to bar slash 
index.html. Now, next over, we're going to remove everything recursively and forcibly the WordPress folder. Then we're going to recursively and forcefully, we're going to remove that uh, tar file as well that we downloaded. I hate this wire in, in on on my keyboard. 5.4.1.tar.gz. Then we're going to change uh, the uh, file permissions. chmod755. WP content. Ah, uh, WP content. I am getting old memories. So now we're gonna change the ownership. And for that, Apache, Apache WP content. We're gonna turn on the service. And if it, we starts, we gonna, uh, we, uh, it will come back and uh, run the Apache again. So next we're gonna click, uh, go to the add storage. So I'm gonna keep the same values here. The tags, we can give it a name or but let's go. Get away. This one here, it is very important. Uh, we're gonna go with launch wizard two. Remember, we you want to use uh, if not the same security group, you want to make sure that uh, that security group has certain uh, allowance, like HTTP is allowed. I shouldn't have SSH in here, but I'm just going with it. And you can see it has the MySQL connection at this port open. So that's why I'm in, uh, launching it in here, because if I were to go in here, in here there is no HTTP in here meaning that if i launch my ec2 instance in this security group nobody will in the world will be able to connect to it via the http there is uh it will error out there is no connection to the database that we created in the last video that's why i'm creating it in this one uh, so i have my http 8 the word because of this word can come and connect to it and whatever web page is it they can access it and uh, it, it has a connection to my database so my wordpress can actually write into this database review and launch while it's launching uh it, this is saying open to the word because of the ssh uh, these two i'm gonna ignore it and just launch i'm gonna use the key uh, key pair i'm using the existing key pair uh, i have talked about it in the previous videos that you have to have this downloaded before and you should have access to it if you don't have access to it you will not be able to uh, access your ec2 instant via the ssh so launch instance it's gonna take maybe ETBT time, the instances while it's provisioning. I'm gonna just, uh, you see, in this, uh, instance state is uh, pending. I'm simply gonna pause the video here and once it's green, I will uh, resume. Oh, as soon as you clicked, it uh, ran uh, green. Now, if you remember from the previous videos, uh, where is the two? uh two green check status check we need two by two over here so we're gonna wait for that next in the and in, in the background i'm pretty sure that my bootstrap script is being ran ran right now so let's uh pause this video all right so our status checks are two by two let's refresh it one more time everything looks good so if i click in here and uh, I click on this open address I should see hopefully a WordPress page I do hope and nope something somewhere is not right oh HTTPS 
So if I remove HTTP, I have the WordPress. Everything went smoothly. Uh, for this for this one, all I have to do is go to the. Actually, let me show you. Let's go to VP subnet, VPC security groups, security, and here in about rules we need to add a new rule. So security group right here. Launch wizard two. Click on it. Add it inbound rules, and let's create again. <laughs> uh, I feel like removing those uh, those uh, SSH. So you can see it's GTPS, and you can put the word on both IPv4 and IPv6. Save and now you can see that uh, this will disappear if I go and type in HTTPS HTTPS nope something is maybe the IP address I Open address. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see if we can connect it. Uh, and we are able to connect to WordPress on HTTP. So <clears throat> all we have to do is we have to uh, go and why it's not. Uh, let me check actually I'm gonna pause the video here so for my security group uh, HTTP is still not here uh, let me refresh it yep or the so it means I uh, put that in somewhere else that's why it didn't go through let's go back to launch wizard 2 security groups <coughs> HTTPS is there so it means that instance is in somewhere else EC2 running <coughs> we need to uh, get its uh, security and uh, launch user 2 security group why inbound rules <coughs> so over here it's good and over there it's not let me actually interesting hmm. let's uh, refresh it instance ID and for the security I still don't have it that is wait security in bundles and <coughs> security groups maybe there is a duplicate 640 and uh, yeah, launch user two. There's only one. I feel like restarting it, but uh, it should be instantaneously. Action. Okay. Six four E sixty four instances running <coughs> T 
to right there it is I have it so um, it, it's showing you just uh, like a few and not all let's click on here does it so for some reason we can only access it not over the HTTP HTTPS but only over the <coughs> regular HTTP we're gonna live with that I guess <coughs> but for trial and error yes we did everything we could in more power <coughs> it's asking us just the regular screen uh, that uh, so I'm just reading this text here saying if I you may I simply open so it is okay let's go WordPress we know the database name was I put it as Imran username is Imran the password is I don't want to show you so yep it's typing it in so basically I'm gonna for this uh, I'm gonna show you what needs to be here and I'm gonna password oh that's so and then I will pause the video and work it but I'm gonna I want to show you what you need to put in here for the database host for that you have to go back in your uh, console click on your RDS I'm gonna open it in new window so while it's loading taking time I hate long videos but I guess I have no uh, way around it so click on databases and hopefully it's there there is my database we need this endpoint address I in the previous video I did say that this is the most important thing we need so let's go and grab it I'm gonna copy it now what does this localhost mean previously uh, when you were installing it localhost simply means that your database is going to be installed on the same computer as the WordPress installation we don't we know that our database is on RDS it's not on our EC2 that's why we are pasting this link here right here the second thing uh, I'm gonna enter my password here since it's a uh, Mm, I shouldn't have used that password, but I, you know, if I write something, oh, you can see it's not uh, doing it, so it it's not uh, putting static. So I'm gonna type in my password and then I will unpause the video. All right. So once I click um, uh, next or submit, I am getting this error, and this is the error that they warned before. Basically, what's happening is that. Uh, because of the if you remember we change uh, the ownership and the we change the um, uh, file permissions uh, what's happening is that it's unable to write to that server it's good we did that because for just one file we don't want to leave that uh, your EC2 instance open for anybody to write any file into it so I'm gonna just log into my EC2 instance and create a file I will just copy it from here <clears throat> and let's go to our in situ instance and uh, that's the instance click on connect if you have followed this course all along uh, this should be very very easy for you because I'm not explaining more, most of the things so nano we're gonna create the file name I think it was wpconfig.php let me double check it uh, wpconfig.php yes so basically the <coughs> it's going to create this it's opening the editor I'm gonna just paste my text control X Y for yes and enter I'm back at my command prompt I can cat and config.php uh, oh, oh! I think I create oh, cd www actually copy 
gun. No. Yeah, I created uh, this in here. WP config dot PHP. Yep, right there. So basically, it should have been in the HTML directory, I believe. <coughs> we can copy it actually. WP config dot PHP into war slash HTML. Cannot create regular file. Permission denied. Okay, we'll have to go and create one. And <coughs> can I put CD in CDSU? Yep, that did it. CD slash war slash dot HTML. Actually, why CD? Why not ls? And I have my no, I don't have the w right there, right here. I have the one here. It means that it worked. <coughs> my apologies. What I have done here is uh, that uh, I actually was supposed to first cd into this and then create that file, but I created that file onto my root and on my root so i just uh, basically copy it right here i use this command to copy it with the when before you uh, using the sudo here when i try to copy it it didn't permission denied so with the super user per, uh, credentials i was able to copy it and the result is here <coughs> so let's go and uh, but if you follow uh, uh, everything that i just did you should be good too so let's go and run this solution and I have the welcome page if I put my name here Imran username Imran password let's put Imran 123 it's gonna say very weak use a weak password my email let's put uh, this email <coughs> install WordPress don't save now if everything goes smoothly I should be able to log into my WordPress and should see that uh, <coughs> the oh yes the dashboard I haven't used or seen this dashboard page for a very very long time <clears throat> okay next just to make sure that this uh, at this point we know everything is working fine the database that we created is not only hooked onto this EC2 with this WordPress it's actually was able to the WordPress was actually able to write to that database that's how it's getting all these uh, files <clears throat> let me, uh, first thing we're gonna check is here settings at the start of the video we had uh, um, terminated one in c2 instance and these ip addresses they you know they are belong to that ep uh, those uh, virtual machines if i terminate this ec2 instance as well my wordpress is garbage because this ec this uh, it's attached to this ip address and this ip address is uh, stored in database i need to make a, <coughs> uh, some kind of modification that i don't lose access to my wordpress installation even though my, I lose uh, or terminate my EC2. Remember, this WordPress is actually in the database. It's not on that EC2. Those files are in that EC2, but the actual storage medium is that database. So we're gonna go back to our. Um, let me. Uh, yeah, console. Let's go to console EC2. I do hope I never deleted those load balancer otherwise I will have to load balancers beautiful I have the load balancer here it's active but uh, our EC2 instance is not inside this one so we're gonna go to target groups we're gonna add our where it is let's click on the word service targets and we have there it is 
<laughs> okay register targets uh, no right here so this is the new tar launch wizard 2 you can see the you don't have the name but we're gonna include pending below so basically this ec2 instance is uh, the newest one that we created in this video is going to be behind this load balancer and if it's a little bit confusing or this video is proving to be too much for you i was just talking to make sure the status check is from initializing to healthy but let's uh, let's finish what i was saying if this video is proving to be too much for you uh, you don't know what the load balancer is or why i'm using it please go watch this video how to use load balancers and <clears throat> and you will uh, you will need to watch this video as well and this uh not 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 this sorry this one and the one um, this one as well so if you watch this this and this uh, these three videos if you watch them this current video is going to make a lot more sense to you so next happily we know it's healthy it's in our load balancer so we can go to load balancer now you can get this dns and dns name now even if and um, where it is wordpress yeah we're gonna get rid of this and paste our load balancer address and save uh, it kicked me out it's let's see if i am able to log into my and I'm logged in it means everything is working smoothly now my uh, if I go to my settings I want to just show you it's it's no longer going through that uh, easy to instance IP address it's going through the load balancer DNS name the beauty of this is that even if I lose access to I terminate that EC2 instance I will still be able to have my uh, WordPress installation and I can just run another uh, EC2 instance install WP on it and copy you know or import my WordPress installation to that EC2 instance now my as far as the database is concerned it's using this DNS name uh, um, it, it will be a totally different story if I go and remove this load balancer then I lose access to this name and the DNS attached to it and that will be I will be in trouble then so before we wrap this video up how about creating a post so let's go if there is a new post mm, welcome to the block editor add title I'm gonna name it Imran my WordPress in nine years we're gonna publish is simply publish and view post if I click on view post uh, notice that it's going through the load balancer address slash index slash the the schema of the <coughs> my WordPress uh, but I have a WordPress site here uh, you can see that I'm logged in that's why I'm getting all these uh, um, uh, editing things so let's go and click on a private and let's see what happens now I open this one in a incognito or private window it went straight to my WordPress everything is working fine thumbs up uh, I'm gonna wrap this video now here it's super long almost a half an hour if this video has helped you please consider uh, subscribing sharing commenting and I will see you in the next one